Hello everyone, this is Neha and today we'll uh, find out the answer to the most important interview question that is how to deal with multicollinearity. So first, before starting, we should understand what is multicollinearity. So multicollinearity occurs when, uh, when the two independent features or predictors are highly correlated to each other. So let's understand this with an example. For example, you have a data set in that there are features like F1, F2, F3, F4, and this is the uh, target variable that is Y. Okay. So if F1 and F2, two features are highly correlated to each other, that times we say that there is multicollinearity. Okay. So uh, the example for multi multicollinearity can be uh, like uh, we have, um, if we have age and number of years of experience for a particular person. So that time we can say that there is a multicollinearity as age and year of experience can be correlated to each other. Okay. So uh, this is multicollinearity when two features are uh, highly correlated to each other. Okay. So, uh, multicollinearity creates problem in some of the machine learning algorithms like linear regression, uh, KNN, etc. Okay, so the question is here now, how will you find that uh, or how will you detect multicollinearity in your data? Okay, so there are various ways to detect multicollinearity. So, ways to detect multicollinearity in data. Okay. So, one way is one way is the use of correlation matrix. One way is the use of correlation matrix. So, we can use the correlation matrix. So, with the help of CORR function and heat map, we can find out the correlation among uh, the uh, independent variables. So if the correlation is uh, very high, that is more than 90%, we say that they, there is multicollinearity exists. Okay, another way to detect the multicollinearity in data is with the use of BIF. So BIF stands for Variance Inflation Factor. So the formula for VIF is 1 upon 1 minus R square. So VIF uses R square. So we know that R square value is determined to find out how an independent variable is described by other independent variable, right? So the thumb rule is if the VIF is greater than 10, we consider that multicollinearity exists in the data. So, uh, sometimes greater than 5 also depends on the person to person or the data set. If VIF greater than 5, that uh, that time also uh, we can conclude that multicollinearity exists. But the thumb rule is if VIF is greater than 10, uh, then there is multicollinearity. So, this is the thumb rule for VIF. Now, the question is if there exists the multicollinearity, how to deal with that or how to remove multicollinearity? Okay, how to remove multicollinearity? So there are various ways to deal with the multicollinearity or to remove multicollinearity. Some of the ways are uh, first uh, way what you can do, you can drop the highly correlated features drop the highly correlated features okay uh, second way what you can do you can extract new features extract new features using algorithms like pca principal component analysis the third way to remove multicollinearity is you can linearly combine the features Linearly combine the features. 
yeah uh, like you can add two features or uh, you can uh, uh, some two features like that okay so fourth way is you can use the lasso and ridge regression so with the help of regression also you can remove the multicollinearity in your data so this is all about how to deal with the multicollinearity in the data thank you bye bye